a good nutritional care, it is very important in order to fight against the disease, let's say to give time to the body to build the immune system and then to, to give the time to recover itself. So if we don't provide the best nutritional care we can, then this, it is more difficult for the person, let's say, to fight against, against the disease. Every patient was receiving the same uh, nutritional uh, treatment, the same diet, while you have many patients that have many difficulties to swallow, you have patients uh, that have sore throat, you have patients with very little appetite. So with all this assessment, then you decide if the patient needs a solid diet, can eat a normal diet, or he needs a soft diet, or he needs a liquid diet. So when the patient is discharged, they are part of a list, and then the ICRC is using this list to uh, entitle this survivor to the cash transfer program. It's not going to be difficult. It's a very simple question. Yeah, did you buy food or did you pay for education? I'm a survivor of Ebola, and I contracted this viral uh, when I went in rescue of a little child who had lost seven members of his family. I'm going to buy some clothes because I destroyed some of my clothes. I need a lot of food. I need to build myself, and I want to go back on the ambulance to help my librarian brothers and sisters. We thought that it makes much more sense to empower them, to give them the uh, dignity to decide, make their own choices, decide if they want to allocate this money to food or to something different. And we also hope and we trust that this will also help them start small businesses or restart the small businesses that were hit very hard uh, by the crisis. And that will allow them long-term uh, economic security or at least improve the economic security. I'm going to start selling in this money to start supporting my children to eat, wear clothes, slippers and things. At 10 years I don't have clothes, they bring all my things. We have a mechanism in place to do a regular follow-up and monitoring where they are and uh, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, to ensure and make sure that the money that is given in, they use it wisely. When I went in the community, the same people have been assisting before in the community. When they see me coming, they refuse to, even the very day I enter the yard, they put refuse one, went in the market to go and buy food. Up to now, when I go in the market, I say I want better, but they can't hold the money. They say I get in Bola. So it's not easy. Even I walk in the street, people point a finger at me. Yellow in Bola patient, and when my children walk in, they point a finger at them. The still mark, it's not easy. We don't want people to continue to be depending on people for assistance, but we think we can help them. And to the beneficiary, we want them to use their money wisely. Let them use their money wisely. It is very important. And because for now, we are doing this program in Montserrado County. Let's see what the future will bring. Just gonna take all your money. No. No. <laughs>